Good evening, garden loves. So here is a little update from the last vlog. Um, I've been a bit slack for the last 10 days and an awful lot has happened since then. So the seeds that I'd sown on, I think I showed you in the last vlog, or it might even be at the beginning of this vlog anyway, they're all starting to come up already. So lots to update you on. I put a, a secondary sowing of chili cayenne for the girls' seeds in. These are actually ones I saved for my own chilies last year. Um, the ones that I've got growing in the orangery, which I'll snip to in a, well, maybe just after the greenhouse tour bit. They're looking really nice and big. They need to get planted out there because they're going a bit yellow and they came from a seed packet. And then I remember that I saved my seed from last year. And look at the germination rate, fantastic so far. And that's only taken probably five days for them to emerge. It's much warmer in my greenhouse now. I have to say this year it did, start really slowly because it was quite cool it wasn't the worst winter or longest worst coolest spring we've ever had but this greenhouse really does suffer because it's slightly in the shade which is good for many reasons because things don't crisp up as much and dry out so watering is not a problem even on the hot days that we've been having because it just gets a little bit of sun in the evening like it does now as you can see but it does mean everything's late, so all my May sowings weren't as good, apart from the Cosmos, which I still haven't potted on, guys. This is getting ridiculous now. I might just put this straight out into the garden because that's nice and thick. This does need potting on for a couple of weeks, I think, really. Anyway, I still haven't potted those on, all the zinnias on, um, so they're a little bit held back at the moment. Anyway, I digress. But other than that, we've had not best of successes or slow germination rates or just one or two things coming up. This last two weeks, so probably 10 days actually, since I sowed my succession seeds or things that I haven't sown or got around to doing yet, are doing amazing. So the chilies I've just shown you, fantastic so far. Can't get enough. I made, I'll tell you why I'm growing more, and I'm gonna just literally bundle this greenhouse filled full of chilies with my tomato plants as well because these aren't all going to be in here. I'm giving some of these away as well. I'm selling some of them. Anyway, chilies and tomatoes, but predominantly chilies in here and my little cucumbers because last year I made this amazing chilli jam. Um, I'll try and snip in a little photo, if I can, of it for you. Um, it is a Nigella Lawson recipe. It was a Christmas gift recipe idea that she had in her Christmas book. And oh my, it is amazing. And in the end, I didn't have as many chilies and I wasn't very good at saving them in time for that. I used them for other things. So this year I am doubling, tripling up the chilies purposely for Nigella Lawson's chili jam that's in her Christmas book. So that's why I'm going a bit chilly mad this year. Um, these ones, so I had some very old seeds, so whether these come up or not, I really don't know. But actually, it's still a bit early to say because, um, yeah, I only sowed these the same time as these, which really was actually five days probably ago. So we've got plenty of time, but we've got bell pepper, aubergine and courgette because I realised I hadn't sown any courgette yet. Oh, rhymes. Uh, so they're yet to come. Hopefully we'll get the odd one or two, but I said it is old seed that I found. So we'll be lucky if we do get some. And my little cucumbers I potted on. So I haven't taken off the little lower yellow leaves, but they are looking healthier on the tops, which is fantastic. So in about two weeks time, they'll be going into grow bags or bigger pots of sorts. I actually sowed some lemon seed that I saved for a bit of fun in that terracotta at the back. So I'm not expecting to see those for weeks, months, whatever. They'll just sit happily in the warmest part of the greenhouse at the top there in the sun. Um, and we'll see what happens. Cobia is still waiting to go out because building work's still happening. So these plants, actually I could do with hardening them off really because they're now getting too warm in here and they are taking over, which is amazing. Uh, but they need to be used to being outside they are waiting to go out when the builders have finished. I've got a zinnia that I haven't potted on yet. Still looking okay though, but yep, I need to get on with that. Amaryllis I saved randomly. It did the whole thing. It flowered three or four times. It was amazing. Um, and then it just shot up a load of really bendy leaves like a triffid. So I cut it all back um, and then brought it just in here just to shove on sort of lower level shelf. 
and it started to shoot again. So we'll see what happens with that. My carrots in my upcycled recycled container are looking nice. So I'll be thinning those out maybe shortly. There's only a couple that need thinning out because I'm only going to grow them as little like salad carrots. So they won't go full size, but that's exciting. A ridge run, I mentioned it in my last vlog, no signs of life. That little seed that came up, which was my little sign of hope before I chucked them, is looking like a weed. So that's probably going to go. Runner beans I've got in, so waiting for them to show signs of life. My dahlias, I'm not even joking in the last three days, because we had that lovely spell of stormy, loads of rain, a little bit cooler, and then hit again with the sun. Well, it's like a sun rain sandwich, it has been. So they have gone mad. So do keep an eye out on my vlog on my how-to section on my playlist because I will be doing a how-to cut your dahlias back. Not that it's hard, but for anyone who's new to dahlias, because I was last year, although I've been gardening for and in the horticultural industry professionally for over 15 years, not done dahlias before, so it might be handy to some. I will be doing a dahlia cut back how-to because they are getting out of hand, but looking awesome. Still no signs on the peonies of that one little red stump. Might do something. I'm just gonna leave them there. Pumpkin, 100 weight. Didn't think I had any proper, when I say proper pumpkin, I mean like Halloween pumpkin seeds. Found some old seed again, not been opened. So gave it a go, got some up there and some down there. No signs of life yet, but again, it's only been five-ish days. My other sweet peas are all blue. Um, they are not doing anything more than they have done for the last two weeks. Need to plant them out, but I've got a problem with a, I think it is a mouse. If you watched my last vlog, I thought it was a squirrel. I was worried it was a rat. It's definitely not a rat. We've had somebody in to have a look. Um, it's looking more and more like a naughty little family of mice that are eating my seeds and it's killing the sweet peas off actually outside. So I'm a bit reluctant, but maybe I'll pop them on and let them really establish in here first and then put them outside. Anyway, is what it is. Um, we've got Lady Anne's lace, which needs to be potted on because I need to get that in the borders in the next few weeks. Nasturtiums I potted on. Um, not long ago i think i showed that in the last vlog maybe at the beginning of this vlog trying to think and keep up with what's going on because there's so much happening now we're really in the midst of the season so they're just thickening up nicely um yeah they've not put on too much more growth but the roots are looking good they're coming through so that could be a week away two weeks away i'm going to plonk those into the veggie patch i put some pop joy in which I cannot wait. I love pak choy in my stir fries. Um, old seed again, and it was random seed I bought off eBay years ago. So yeah, interested to see if that will actually come up, but no harm giving it a go as I've got the seed already. Um, I put these in as well, seed that I saved last year. And when I came to put it in the jar, um, I'd lost the label. It had either blown away or whatever. So I think it's a marrow or it could be the pumpkin seed that I thought that I had. Who knows? So that's very much a surprise. I've just put marrow question mark. I think they were, they were quite thin rather than thick seeds, which pumpkins tend to be thicker rather than thinner, although they're exactly, exactly the same shape and size normally. So anyway, they're coming through nicely, whatever they may be. Soybean, I had some soybean seeds. Again, I bought off eBay years and years ago. Um, so who knows if they'll come up. My second sowing of broad beans, which looks 10 times healthier than the last lot, which are currently stunted outside, probably again, because the mice has been nibbling the actual roots. Um, but this germination rate, same packet, is so much more amazing. It's got to be because it's June, the weather's been warm and the greenhouse is holding the warmth. They have got a cover on at night, so they are protected. Everything that needed it has got protection overnight. But it just needs the sun. They just need a bit of sun more than you think. Germination doesn't necessarily need light for seeds to germinate. But as soon as they start cracking the shell of that seed, they've got to have that light fairly instantly. So if you haven't got and warmth, so the warmth and the light is key. So my greenhouse, definitely, I've got to be so in end of May and the first week of June. And do you know what? These are going to catch up. Yes, we are in the middle of June right now. But most of the crops here won't be fruiting or harvested until late summer and then harvested in late autumn or mid-autumn. Um, the broad beans will quickly catch up and that'll be a nice sort of early summer, mid-summer, well we're in early summer, so mid-summer crop. 
um, and later summer crop, which will follow on from the ones I've already got in. So just play around, play around with your seeds and don't be put off completely by the packets and what they say. You can push the rules. It's all about being a bit of a rebel and pushing the rules ever so slightly. So I'm blabbering on. Ornamental white squash, which I bought from M&S last year. I'm presuming it's ornamental. I did try it personally and it tasted blooming awful. So I'm growing it as an ornamental. Didn't actually specify in M&S if it was or not. Save the seed because they look really cute. It's a beautiful thick skin. So last ages if you're using it for autumnal and halloween decorations um so i've grown loads hoping to pop those on they will need potting on very quickly because they're gonna and these ones the marrows will they're gonna run out of steam super quick if i don't um some will be sold some will be given away and of course that'll be a selection for me to grow goodness knows where i'm gonna put all of my marrow squashes and pumpkins that i've got but i've gone a bit mad because i was obsessed with it last year and the year before and i'm getting more obsessed with it now so i might just have to dig out the rest of the garden who knows i won't tell the partner he probably won't notice until i've harvested them and realizes that half the turf's gone anyway so it's all good um we know all about these because we talked about them i just need to pull my finger out and get them potted on lettuce sayings waiting to go outside very dubious because of the mouse situation although i'm thinking the mice probably will leave these alone because the mice tend to be going for the legumes which are the peas sweet peas and the beans so hopefully they'll leave them alone and because it's nice and hot although we've got a spell of rain tomorrow we had a big spell of rain yesterday which is amazing i think it's still too hot for the slugs so it could be a good time to plant these out tomorrow after the rain and the ground's still nice and soft and damp pumpkins we did those sunflowers are finally blooming coming up so again mid-june is the time for me in this greenhouse for germination same seed it's pudsy um i also put some seed in that a friend gave a family member gave me from their work and uh yeah the mixture of the two in here they're all coming up amazing thank goodness for that and the ones i put outside which you would have seen in my vlog last time they've been eaten by the mouse so anyway we'll let those establish pop them on and then put them out there later peas amazing had loads of problems with peas last year so they're coming up um this would normally be my second sowing of but it's actually my first sowing because i've not even bothered any earlier this year after the trials and tribulations of last year so they will be coming on nicely hopefully and again i've just got to think of a plan to stop the mice eating them so again whether i put them in bigger pots rather than pot them on into single small pots pots maybe like four or five in a larger plant pot and put canes in the plant pot let them establish quite well out the way of the mice and then put them outside i think that's the way forward because of the mouse problem zinnias are doing well in fact they're all doing too well and going leggy and i'm really happy with this so watermelon again i got from mns last year and i thought oh that would be fun to have a go at growing whether I'll get fruit on them or not, I don't know. But I'm enjoying the fact that they've even germinated. And this is seed that I saved from a slice of watermelon I bought from M&S last year. So that is exciting. Look at them. Looking all pretty. Beautiful. So I think... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Going dry because of the hot weather. Oh, yeah, and zinnias. I put zinnias in. More zinnias. Love zinnias. Everywhere in the garden this year. Excuse me. So they're coming up nicely too. Oh, sorry about that, guys. A bit of a dry throat because it's really sunny and it's lovely and dry in here and warm. Not so good for me. Anyway, so that's my zinnia. So that's all well, everything in the greenhouse at the moment doing well. I'll give you a little update on the outside, although there's not too much to show you because of the mouse problem. I will keep mentioning it because it's very much hitting me hard at the moment and annoying me. Uh, I'm going to actually wrap this up for this evening. So. I've just covered the ones in the bottom. That is my mouse protection for in here because they do get inside the greenhouse. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to put the lid back on these. I've already watered nice and gently, not too much. And then I will go outside tomorrow in the morning and update you with what's going on in the veggie patch. So it's all a go, a go, a go. What's happening in your garden? Put down in the comments below what you're up to in mid-June. What's your gardening jobs? You're probably way ahead compared to me because you probably haven't got the same constraints of a greenhouse that's uh, in the shade and has probably got glass in it, whereas mine does not, as you can see. 
anyway let me know what you're up to in the comments down below mid-june what's your top jobs to be doing in june and i will see you in the morning in this vlog night guys